Rawr. Rawr. Is it on? It's working. It's not on. Oh, it is on. Don't film this. I'm wearing my weird t-shirt. <laughs> I want to change my outfit. Whoa. I need to do a Q and A because I haven't done one in a long time and I feel so nervous being in front of the camera right now. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Remember how weird I acted in my room tour when you were filming for me? Like I feel the same. I thought everyone loved it. Oh yeah, Amber said she liked it. I was intending on using a tripod, but instead I'm using today a human tripod. So if you see the camera moving, it is because there's a human person holding the camera. I'm not saying who though, but you can make a guess based on their toes. <laughs> if you clicked on this video, then you know that I am in fact doing a Q and A because I haven't answered your question in a long time. Also, is there something in my teeth? I just ate tacos. Anyways, I thought I would first start out with like the basics. So if you don't know me, my name is Ashley, Ashley Alexander. I am 23 years old. I was born on October 23rd, 1999. I'm a Scorpio. I think I'm actually a Libra, but I, if I actually put in my birth chart, but I'm not counting that. I'm a Scorpio. Um, I currently live here in Manhattan in New York City, and I've lived here for probably like one and a half years, I wanna say. And I used to live in upstate New York all of my life. I went to college up there as well, graduated with a business major, um, and ever since then I've been doing YouTube full time. And so that is literally what I'm doing. I'm doing this full time. At any time of day, it is 11.24 at night. This is my boyfriend, he's so beautiful. Isn't he so beautiful? I wish I was him. I am half white, half Korean. My white side is like mostly German, French, Scottish. I think my dad's side of the family has like probably lived here like since like the pilgrim era if you know what I'm saying So like also I am five foot four on a good day. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I am You are currently looking at the most beautiful girl in the entire world. She's also an epic boss She has been the cover of magazines been interviewed by famous youtubers she also is so cuddly and nice. She gives the best hug. So if you ever see her in public, give her a fat hug. Well, maybe not. Maybe ask first. Okay, so I asked you guys on my Instagram, which is at AAAshleyK, um, just to like ask me any questions that you had about my life. And so I'm gonna go through them right now. Let's see what you guys asked. So somebody asked, are there any hobbies that you want to get into this year that you can share? And yes, there are. I would love to get into painting more. I actually did a little bit of painting today. I can't say what because it's a secret. But you guys will probably see in like one of my vlogs soon. It's just like a little fun thing. I would love to continue to brush up on my French. As you guys know, I speak French like intermediately and I used to practice it all the time back in like 2020. But ever since moving to New York in 2021, I have not been doing the French lessons and I would love to do that again. So hopefully I can brush up on my French, take some more classes. I usually do online classes. Someone also asked, what are your your summer plans for 2023. As always, every summer I go to Nantucket, we will be going to Nantucket again this year. I'm so excited. That's always my favorite trip of the year, my favorite vlogs that I make. Someone also asked like, what's your favorite video that you've ever made? I don't know if I can pinpoint a specific video, but like the Nantucket vlog series, every year is always my favorite. My summer plans for 2023, definitely a lot of the siblings, I think, because the siblings will be home for the summer and I'm really, really excited to spend more time with them. Um, Amber's graduating soon, so who knows what she's gonna be doing after that. You can expect some more sibling content, I think, this summer. Tell Amber to move to New York City. I want her to, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> Could you not do that? <laughs> okay, another person asked, have you had any experiences of insecurity at school growing up? And yes, of course, I think everybody has insecurities. Yeah, that's just the facts. I feel like growing up in school, my friend group, I had like a big friend group of like probably like eight girls and everyone was like highly academic, very athletic, very talented. Everybody played lacrosse. Everybody was in like all APs, very like smart. And I would like constantly be like judging myself against them. Cause like, I feel like when I was in middle school, I didn't really do a sport competitively. Um, I had always done like random sports growing up, but then like when it came to middle school, like I never like had my sport. I was kind of like a jack of all trades, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and then I finally decided, hey, I really like cheerleading. I want to do cheerleading because I really like gymnastics, but I hadn't done it enough to the point where like I was good. <laughs> especially on like the bars and stuff. Um, so I was like, I'm new cheerleading. Uh, it seems really fun. I've always wanted to be a flyer. I love the sparkly outfits. I love the outfits, it's so much fun. I'm getting hella off topic. Also, for some reason when I was in high school, I was also really insecure about my nose. I don't know why, because actually I'm not insecure about my nose at all anymore, but I used to think my nose was big. Actually, I have quite a tiny nose, but I would go like this like every day because I thought that my nose was big, which is so whack. Okay, 
come over here. Somebody asked, what do you like the most about being a content creator? And I definitely love the flexibility. I have the ability to work wherever. I feel like I could live in any state. Um, I do love living in New York and I feel like being in New York kind of gives me ideas and like create content for itself in a way just cause it's so exciting and there's so many things to do. But you could really be anywhere. I could be in the middle of nowhere. I could be on a farm. I could have horses living the dream. <laughs> And then on top of it, I like that I have a job where the effort that I put into it like builds something bigger. And also I get to have like such a sense of community with you guys, which is really cool. And just connect with you guys and share things that I like and bounce ideas off of all of you. I love to be part of a bigger thing, which is epic. <coughs> Kelly, I'm literally, I'm gonna literally murder you for that. Okay, someone also said, or they just said future career goals. Okay, what are your future career goals? For me, I've always wanted to do YouTube until the day I die. So definitely want to continue with that. But also I would love to have some more entrepreneurial endeavors. I would love to have my own business, be on the female owned business vibe um, and just also grow something like that. I always love doing things that are creative, taking fun pictures and drawing and doodling and design and all of that. So I would love to kind of have my hand in that a little bit more. And you guys already know if I were to launch a business, what it would be. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know. Do you know? If you don't know, then think about it. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Um, what does it rhyme with? It literally rhymes with nothing. It rhymes with gotcha. <laughs> Kelly! Okay, somebody asked, will there be more Spotify podcasts? As you guys know, I had a podcast called Extra Dynamic for a little while, mostly over COVID, over quarantine. I feel like I did this podcast and it was super fun. However, I have not done it since I have moved to New York City, but I would love to do another podcast in the future. So who knows what the future holds? I definitely have some ideas for future podcasts, whether it's just me, could be me and my boyfriend. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm very excited for the possibility that we will have one. And if you want a podcast, let me know because I also want to know if you want a podcast. <laughs> the next person asked how to transition from high school to college. And for me, I was not ready for this transition whatsoever. When you go to college, you have to have quite a big sense of independence. And I feel like even like through high school, like, I don't know, I didn't really drive around that much by myself or do things by myself ever. I always had my siblings or my parents or just friends. And I never really did things by myself. And then suddenly I went to college and I was doing a lot lot of things by myself and I was not used to it. It was definitely very good for growth, but also you have to get used to like putting yourself out there. Like you don't just get like stuck and with like a group of friends in a class and you make friends like as easily as you do in high school. You need to like go out of your way to like introduce yourself to people, to get their phone numbers in class, to like go to clubs and try new things. You really have to go out of your way. You have to go to the clubs. Don't go to the clubs. Actually, I've never, I never went to the clubs in college. I don't even know what that means. But yeah, you have to really put yourself out there and it's really, really hard and kind of awkward and uncomfortable sometimes, but you have to just be like, okay, I'm gonna try to do this random intramural sport or this random like cultural club or something like that. You gotta do it, period. This kind of goes back to my podcasting, but someone asked, what's the story behind Extra Dynamic? Basically, so I do have somebody, I have a very special somebody behind the camera right now for Extra Dynamic. They don't want to reveal themselves, but I do have somebody behind the camera for Extra Dynamic. That's basically what I would always say. So I would have my sister film for me or sometimes my brother. Usually it was my sister though. And I always say like, I have Amber behind the camera for Extra Dynamic. Cause you know, she would add a little bit of pizzazz. I would always do like hauls. And I feel like hauls are typically very boring. Like honestly, honestly, she went from behind the camera to in front of the camera because immediately I was like Amber's so funny like I love the little like jokes that she makes and everything and so extra dynamic is just like our word for the little pizzazz the sibling pizzazz and the spark and the the extra dynamic that having other people in your video adds to a video. Another question, what is the craziest thing that happened to you today? And I will tell you today, it was downpouring. I went to an Orange Theory class. I usually do incline walking and instead I ran, which was crazy for me. And then I got out and I was so tired and so sweaty, but I decided to go to Trader Joe's because I needed to pick up their island soyaki sauce because that is my favorite sauce in the entire world. So I go to Trader Joe's, get my soyaki sauce. I get a bunch of other random stuff that I definitely don't need, but I have to try because it's like my monthly or bi-monthly trip to Trader Joe's. I get outside, I am lugging probably 30 pounds worth of stuff from Trader Joe's, and then I go to open up my umbrella and it gets stuck in one of the bags and it breaks. I think only one of the rods 
broke. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna open up my umbrella anyways. It should still work. And literally like the little metal thing that like, I don't know, goes up and like, just like the center of the umbrella. I open it up and it just goes and just slices through my fingers. Trigger warning for injury. But yeah, it just slices through my hand. And it was like deep. And I looked at my hand for like a full minute, just like, what do I do? And I have to walk home from very far away, probably like 20 minute walk. And I have little band-aids on them. So that is what is crazy and happened to me today. Day. Also, I just realized I left my mic on the ground the entire time I said that, so I hope it wasn't bad audio. Pray for my fingies. Ooh, somebody said, are you planning to visit any Asian countries? Yes. I'm not saying where, but yes. I'm just gonna keep walking to make the video more exciting. Okay, someone said, who is your favorite artist? And I'm assuming musical artist. I always would say Frank Ocean. I am not sure how I feel after the Coachella performance. Just something about standing there for like the three hours. Like, I don't know, but it changed the chemistry in my brain a little bit. I still love Frank Ocean, but right now I kind of love Ray Shremmerd. <laughs> Ray Shremmerd is so epic. They have so many bangers. And I recently learned last Last year that they are two people, Sway Lee and his brother Slim Jimmy are Ray Shremmerd and I was like, I love Ray Shremmerd, he is so epic. And then my boyfriend was like, that is a group. <laughs> and the more you know. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. <laughs> okay, then surprisingly a question that I got more than a few times. Wait guys, I'm, o I'm over here. No, nope, not there, I'm over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm right here. I gotta ask what my favorite color is. And it's green. I like colors, as you guys can tell from my room. I like to have lots of little yellow and green and pink and all the fun colors. I'm not on the minimalist vibes. No, 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 no. What college did you go to? I went to RPI, AKA Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in upstate New York. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what is your job title? My job title is uh, influencer. What was your first job? Um, I was an ophthalmic assistant. What is your favorite month? October, my birthday month. It's also the best month. What is your favorite season? Fall, also my birthday season, and best for fashion. What is your favorite animal? Red panda, red panda. This one is named Reddy. She is the most adorable in the entire world. I don't do this. My boyfriend does this. He likes to go like this. Oh no, she got worms. <laughs> Bro, he is kind of funny for that though. Favorite food? Uh, anything with matcha, anything at all, or Penang curry. Really random, but it's like a certain type of Thai curry. What word do you hate hearing? What word do I hate hearing? Loki, I hate when people say like period, but I say that all the time. <laughs> Who do you text the most? Loki, my siblings, Amber and Andrew, or my mom. Who is your hero? My dad. Where'd you go for your last vacation? We just went to Palm Springs for Coachella, but before that we went to Jamaica, which was crazy. What is your go-to pastime? Working. <laughs> What's your favorite body part? I actually really like my nose. Isn't that crazy to go from being insecure about my nose to liking my nose the best? Period. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> you just said period. I know. Favorite and, breakfast? Uh, avocado toast by far. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? When I was younger, I really wanted to be named Heather. Like the girl from Total Drama Island. I kind of look like her, I hope. <laughs> What's your favorite store? My favorite store for clothes? I love Trader Joe's, not for clothes. Brandy Melville or Aritzia? Brandy Melville or Aritzia? Probably Aritzia. If I had to shop at one place for the rest of my life, Aritzia has like really good range. Describe your style in one word. Ooh, we just say thrifty. That's how I always explain my style is kind of like laid back thrifty style. Favorite movie genre? Genre? Astronaut. <laughs> when was the last time you laughed? Right now. When was the last time you cried? Yesterday. <laughs> When? When I was so, I am I was so anxious because I don't know what videos to film that I would literally was like shedding a tear. And I still feel really nervous because I haven't filmed in a long time. I know I like just posted a vlog, but for some reason I feel like I haven't filmed in a long time. So I just feel nervous. And that's all for rapid fire questions. Period. That Dance was fun. Break. Bro, I've been hitting the gritty in every vlog for like my last four vlogs. She's hitting the gritty while vlogging. I'm going in in my outside clothes. Oh, people are gonna get so angry. Me and Kelly. Don't drag me into this. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm I need. I feel like I need to mention you because you're standing right there. Fine, the reveal. <laughs> it's been me. It's 
been Kelly the whole time. But I was going to say, you guys can be mad, but I'm not really a germaphobe. So sometimes I do be like just sitting on my bed in my outside clothes. Like I just, the germaphobes be quaking. I'm sorry, but I just, I'm just laid back when it comes to that. <laughs> well, I look like Lord Farquaad. No, I just gave you. A, I just gave Kelly a haircut, and I, think I know, it but I'm wearing. Nice. A, I'm wearing my head headset. Oh, oh. This is to prove once again how unsanitary my girlfriend is. Why would you? Why are you gonna bring that? I up? have to. I have to tell them because people. This is a question and answer. Get to know you. Okay. And. But I am sa guys. I shower every single day. I shower every day. Not my hair sometimes. But that's normal. I shower my body every single day. Yeah. She loves to wipe her nose into the sheets. And what about it? Kelly's just mad because like I unfortunately am the type of person where like if I have a runny nose like yeah I'm gonna wipe it on my sleeve. I never noticed that I did this but I guess I like wipe it on my pillows and the bed sheets. I never noticed until Kelly told me that I was doing it and yeah that's really gross and embarrassing and you can judge me based on that but I'm just trying to be real with you guys. I'm sure some of you guys do it. You can pick your nose whatever it's fine. We're all just humans. What's it? It's not gonna kill me? Is it gonna kill you? No it's not gonna kill you. So stop roasting me for it. And yeah, those are my toes. You're welcome. Yes. Any advice for struggling YouTubers? My best advice that I can give to you is that consistency is key and you gotta persevere and post as often as you can. You never know if you finally get to the point where you're like, mm -mm, I'm gonna quit. Maybe your next video is what could have blown up and gotten you further in your YouTube career. You never know. So I would just say stay consistent, but also be smart about it. Watch other YouTube videos, really look into and try to understand how other YouTubers tell their stories, set up their videos. Kelly, you gotta stop making direct eye contact with me while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, just understand like how people set up their videos and how they make things clear and concise and understandable and fun. Sometimes you got to cut out your breaths and your pauses between saying things and it's a little extra, but like you got to keep the pacing. Pacing is very important. That's also my advice. I have like an insurmountable, I don't know if that's a word, amount of questions just about Andrew. Everybody loves Andrew. They all want to ask, what is Andrew's type? And all I have to say is this. I'm going to put a picture on screen. That's all I have to say. Pros and cons of living in New York. Cons, expensive, I guess could be dangerous, but actually I feel like it's safer than a lot of other places because of, there's just so many people out and about. Like if something happens to you, like someone's gonna see it, security cameras everywhere, keep some pepper spray on you and you're good, I think. And then the pros are that things are walkable. It's so fun, you just go outside, you walk around, you get a little snack, you can get a little drink, a little drink and a snack. And then you can go do little workout classes and everything is so fun and it's beautiful and there are so many of options. Okay, somebody asked, where would you live after New York? I love New York. I really like, in a way I can't imagine myself leaving. So I'm always like, oh, if I were to like to grow up and have a family, like where would I wanna live? And I was always like, like Brooklyn or like, I don't know. But I really like Manhattan. But I think probably I've always seen myself as like moving to California. So maybe I'm gonna like switch coasts when I'm older, but that is definitely like many, years down the line and who knows i could end up in montana like i said on a horse farm that could be the vibes also i think that montana has no income tax so that is a sleigh a lot of people ask me like what would your job be if you weren't a youtuber and this is actually a question i get a lot just because i think people are like what would you be doing if like youtube wasn't an option i like to think like oh i probably would do like a creative job or something entrepreneurial but really honestly like the route that i was going down in college was to go to optometry school or something in the medical field and i actually still was very interested in that type of stuff and i, I actually like i kind of love taking the tests i love learning new things and I could definitely have seen myself going down that route potentially so I think I probably would be doing something in a, of a more science in the science realm if I wasn't doing YouTube but I am very glad that I took my creativity and my passion and I made it into my job and I still every day am just amazed that my job is what it is so it's such an epic job and I love you guys and this is so epic oh this is a really deep question someone asked do you think more about your past or your future and I feel like I think more about my future, but actually maybe it's kind of even, but I want to say future. Favorite pasta shape, fettuccine. <laughs>
that's a wrap i'm in the wrap anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed and also thank you so much for asking me questions on my instagram once again at a ashley k i share all my secrets there same with my tiktok also sorry i keep itching my face my hair is literally itching me if you want to be part of the next q a make sure to follow me there and for now make sure to double tap the like button double tap the subscribe button and of course make sure to click confirm when it asks you to unsubscribe and i will see you guys next time peace Thank <laughs> you.